Hello, my friends. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya and Psychic Crafts, you guys. I'm going to be making an ATC card today, and I'm going to be trying some different techniques that I have not tried before. I have taken a black piece of cardstock. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have embossed it with my Sizzix embossing folder. And, um... You know, somebody said there's numbers on these things, and I just don't ever see it. So anyways, it's this one that looks like leather, stitched leather. And I thought that would be perfect, because I'm going to make one with this lady. And she's sitting on a chair there. And I thought this would be fun to add for the background. So let's make it all come together. And first of all, I want to try and see. Now, if I mess this up, I'll make another Okay, but I'm going to try this and see if I go lightly over this, if I can bring some of that stitching out and a little bit more. I'm going to get a different pad. I'm afraid that I'm going to change the color on here too much. Let me see if I've got a clean pad on here that I can stick. Is this one cleaner? This one doesn't have Velcro on it. Let's try this one. I just kind of want to go lightly above that and this might it just might not show because of oh it does a little bit that's kind of what I want I just want a hint of it if I can just to bring out some of the detail and it might be this color so this color is I don't know what it is it is a craft smart pigment ink pad um, I think that's a Michaels brand isn't it I'm going to try, I also want to try the Distress Oxide. And this might be lighter. Let's go really lightly. Just, there's little specks of glitter on here too from, from who knows what. It was probably on the paper already. Kind of bending it a little bit with my finger just to make those edges pop up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to kind of, I think it definitely left, I'm, I'm not liking that right there because it went a little bit dark, but I can put her over that. So as long as I get a little bit on the stitches, I probably could have done this in the folder. I wonder if I would have put the ink in the folder, if it would have done that. <clears throat> no, because it would have just done the raised part, wouldn't it? I don't know, but that's okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. Sort of. I kind of wish I had a clean. Or either, either. Or with just darker ink that I can go back over some of this part. Darken some of it back up. Will that work? Not sure probably making it worse but anyways it's giving it some texture it's giving it some interest that's what I was looking for and it does in fact do that so we'll go about that let's put our pad back on here with the browns on it because I want to go back and ink her up now the thing is that I have to do I'm making a an ATC card that is <clears throat> this is for a collaboration it's a swap And we're all making one within the theme of retro lady, vintage lady, or something like along those lines. And so it has to be it's kind of a sisterhood kind of thing, I'm, I'm thinking. So I thought she would be perfect. And this is just a vintage, an actual vintage ephemera cigarette card. You guys can see that. I can't see. Oh, there you are. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out these angles, guys. So if I'm working off camera a little bit, I apologize. I think I'm gonna try to tip this just a little bit differently so that I can see into my camera and see what you see. There we go. That might help me a little bit better. So I'm gonna trim this back just a little. And I think this was the perfect card for that project. So here we go. So we're making an ATC. It's got to be non-dimensional. 
which is my struggle because you know I love my mixed media and I like to make things dimensional. I think this will be fun. So I think we can go there. Now I will have to trim the sides just a little bit because you know um, ATCs are only two and a half by three and a half inches. So it has to be able to fit in, a, in one of the trading card pockets. So I will have to trim that off and that's just fine. Um, I do want to go ahead and ink the outsides of this just a bit. Just a bit. So when I glue it on, I don't have to do too much more. I probably should have done it in black. I can't, still can. I can go back to black. That would be fun. Be a nice outline, wouldn't it? There we go. That's nice. Okay. And then what are we going to do? So it's going to need something more than that because that's just not going to do it for me. I feel like maybe we could add, I want to add some silver or something in here. I definitely want to add a charm. So let's do that because I know I'm going to do it. Let's move some of these papers. I'm still, I'm still fussing here, guys, with my new organizers, um, trying to figure out where I want things, and I'm having so much fun with it, and yet it's just, it's kind of driving me a little bit crazy, because I'm not quite sure I love it yet. I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> I've had a fun morning this morning. Talked to Michelle a little bit this morning. She says, Cowboy Journal should be next. What do you guys think? Should I do the Cowboy Journal next? I'm just going to put a little hole there in the top. And then let's put in, let's put in, I think I want a dark colored. I don't think I have any black ones. Do I have any black? See any black eyelids in there? I think I see one. I think I see one right there. If I tip it out, it's just going to go everywhere, so I can't do that. Come on now. Oh, I think that was the black one that just went on the floor. The one black one, was it? Nope, the black one's right there. I cut my fingernails off, so I can't use them. There it is. Okay, let's try not to drop this one. I think I used the small, the small hole, too. I don't think that'll fit. That's better. All right, so there's that. We've got our eyelid in there. We don't need that again for this project. Now, when you see this video, that means she's already received it because we've got a timeline here. So she's already received it. My partner has already received it by the time you see this. So hopefully she'll like it and you'll get to see it on her channel. And um, I w feel like it needs like, um, not like book page, but like an advertisement or something behind her. You know what I mean? I also feel like I kind of want to make it shiny. Is that silly? I kind of want to make it shiny, you guys, like a, like a real couch. like real upholstery instead of you know paper so I think what we're gonna do oh I have an idea too I have another idea to add some color maybe behind here look at these stamps these are butterfly stamps that I've gotten along the way these are most likely vintage too I'm, I don't know I got them so long ago and I just I love them I think one more back here there are, and these are just random, these are random stamps from Australia and different places, but these butterfly stamps are the ones, I was thinking maybe something like this would be kind of cool to put in here. No, no, maybe not. <clears throat> I'm somehow visualizing though, 
script behind her or an article. I feel like like she's a picture out of a magazine and like the article needs to be back there. What do I have like that? I'm sure, I'm sure in this vintage box that I just got, I probably have something like that that I can use. Let's see, let's reach into this. Really quick, <laughs> as if. Look at me using my, using my vintage stuff. Okay, hang on. So there was something with advertisements, guys. I know you can't see me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me get to, let me pull this. Let me find it really quick. And then I'm going to bring it in front of you so you can see as I go through the different ads. Because I know there was something. I just showed you guys this box. Well, I just showed you guys this box, but that would have been, you know, a while ago now because you're seeing this later. So let's look at this one. The cultivator? I don't know. This might not be the right one to use, but I feel like there still should be something fun in here. Flowers. She doesn't look like a gardening. She looks more style and fashion. I use it's all gonna be farming stuff. Ooh, there's horses. I can use that for my other one. All right, so we're not gonna use that one, but there should be something nearby. Hold, please. Oh no! Look, 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 look. What? Look at you guys. This is sitting right next to me. Why couldn't I use one of these? These are flat enough, right? I'm going to say they are. What if I do that? It kind of cuts her off a little. But isn't that beautiful? If I cut her out... There's plenty of her showing. I kind of want the chair showing also. Because that's why I've got that fabric in the back. I think right there is good. Okay, I'm going to use the scissors and mark it. Can you see that? I'm going to use the scissors and mark it. I'm not going to fussy cut this, but this will give me kind of a space for... i got to cut smaller than that. Even though I, well, I didn't know I was going to use the frame. I was going to say, even though I went to all that trouble to do all that other work, but I didn't know. Okay, let's cut this corner off a little bit. Oh, this is great. I love this. Okay, sometimes you just don't know how these things are going to turn out, but this is fantastic. Okay, so let's put some glue on her. Oh, hang on though. Oh, you know what? I'm going to Mod Podge her too because I want her to be... Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Mod Podge this whole card. And this is a flat Mod Podge, but at the same time, it still does, sh it still is a little bit glossy and it turns the paper messy. That's okay, I'm gonna put cardstock on the back side so I can write on it. Um, It turns the paper feeling different, so it feels a little bit more leathery once it's done. So that's kind of cool. And that um, embossing folder has a lot of texture too. So it's not just the stitches; it's got texture on the on the pieces in between too. So that's kind of neat. Okay, so that's gonna go there now. Clean this up a little bit. Okay, you guys are still in frame here. Now what I'm going to do is carefully 
put this where I want it. I think I want it just like right here in the middle. So I'm gonna lay her down, stick her to the paper, and then I'm gonna gloss over her as well. So now she's glossed over. And she's gonna be like it's part of it okay and then we're gonna attach that metal piece once this dries a bit I'm gonna take some of the extra off because I don't want it to be streaky is not the word but I don't want it to have lumps and bumps and stuff okay and then I want to kind of try to clean this up All right, so once that's dry, I can put this. Ooh, we could use a crackle paste. Oh, yes, I'm going to use crackle paste over that. So it looks like the paper's crack or the glass is cracked on the picture. That would be cool. We're going to just total mix media it up. I knew it was going to come together somehow. So let's find that crackle paste while we're kind of waiting for that to dry. And I won't need this again. So we'll clean this off. And we'll throw that towel over that way so I don't try to use it on something different. And smear the glue. So let's find that crackle paste. I hope you guys are all doing well. It's a fun day. I'm off today. I'm playing with dragons today. I am cleaning. It's, um, it's a good day. It's a good day. And I hope you're all having one too. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying relaxing a bit and I'm um, just having a good time. So we're going to do that. I want to see what kind of charms I could put on there. I have something already. I probably have something already beaded that might work. Or in my jewelry bin. I could also look at. Let's see if there's anything in here. I do keep this bowl with some of my beaded my beaded work already so that I have things that are ready to go. See, that would be pretty on with that too, wouldn't it? And I may just need to make something. A pokey tool. Why is my pokey tool in there? It needs to go over here. Get add. Ooh, that would be pretty to just add on there, wouldn't it? Add some color too, maybe something like that. Got some pins. No, not those. Those are spacers and dewdrops. My little doggy won't work. This would be kind of cute, but I kind of not really would be kind of pointless on there. That would be kind of pretty. I don't want to do blues and greens. Something simple. Some tassels in here, some charms. Julie nutting is fun, but that doesn't work either. Something like that would be fun, maybe. All right, let's see. There's got to be something, one of those that I can use. Um, I could put a charm too, but um, I don't know. I think I've got one of these is gonna work. I think. I think I'm leaning towards. That might be too long. Even with the bulb pin, that might be too long. This is gonna go here. Oh, I kinda like it. Maybe put that on the end or both of those on the end. And I could put some of these on a bulb pin. Put one of those on the bulb pin with these and then put this one on the, that's what I'm gonna do right there. Here's the bulb pin right here. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, put that one away. Let's open this up. We're gonna do this while we're waiting for this to dry completely and make it happen. It's a simple project today. It's uh, simple to do. ATCs are a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy making them. I love making them all different. I've got a box with probably more than a hundred cards cut for ATCs. So they're always at the ready, which is nice. And then I have 
another drawer hooked up to that. It's in a little two drawer little box that has finished ones in it. But somehow the finished ones don't usually have a <laughs> have the theme that I'm looking for. So I end up making more, which is also fine. They're so much fun. Even just for playing, you know. All right. And as I learn and grow and my craft, my craft uh, changes, it's nice to try something different. This is definitely something different for me. But I also think it's very nice. So there's two, three. We'll kind of balance this out. And we'll put this one on there. And then we'll put three on this side. Maybe four, if I can catch that one that just got away. One. Come on now. Are those stuck together? They're not now. There. And we'll put this one on there. Oh, I was going to put one of these on there too. Here, let's put this there. And put this there. Okay, we won't put that there. And that'll kind of slide around its own anyway. And then we'll add this one to the bottom. And what we need to do to that is just open it up. Remember, when you open your jump rings, you want to go side to side so that you don't bend them too out of shape and put it on there and bend it right back side to side. And then if they don't quite fit, just kind of jimmy them back together. There you go. So that will be on the card, adding just a little bit of flair because you know she's wearing earrings or something. I think that's gonna be really cute. Okay, so here's something else I wanna do. And I can do this while we're waiting for this to dry still. I want to add a little gilding wax. And I think it's going to complement the gold on the charm as well as the frame. <clears throat> You'll see that on there just a little bit. We could even go over the stitches lightly. If you're if you're really careful, you could hit the tips of those stitches just at the height of them. I'm scared to do it because they're not sticking up as much now that that paste is on there. Uh, am I going to do it? Nope, I'm not going to do it. I should do it, but I'm not going to do it. We'll just let this speak for itself. And then this will go here. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. But I think I am going to go a little heavier on the gold around the edges. Just a little, especially around the corners. Just add a little extra, even to that eyelet just a little heavier there I like that that looks nice and then I think I'm gonna go very lightly just a couple spots here with what's left on my finger just a little residue okay so that's that and we're gonna put the crackle paste over the picture. Don't have to do much, just enough to get a little crackle. And this is Distressed Crackle Paste Translucent. And we're just gonna stick this, smear this on here lightly. Maybe a little heavier than lightly, but just over where the picture is because I don't want it to go outside of the picture so that it's on the leather because then it won't look like glass at that point. It'll just look like, you know, some kind of crackle paste over the leather, like the leather's breaking up or something. And that's not what I want. Let's go there. 
I might have gone a little too far there, but that's that's okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, now this is going to take a little bit of time to, oops, I just got a big old fingerprint. Can I use my dryer on this one? I can't remember. The palette knife and allow to dry. So I'm supposed to probably do this thinner. And allow to dry. Okay, so we're gonna keep working. Hopefully that'll be okay right there. So no, we don't want to use we don't want to use the the dryer. Probably because it needs to dry from the top down so that it crackles properly, I believe is the explanation for that. I've tried it before. It didn't work. It didn't work well. If I remember correctly. Okay, so that's that. Then we're gonna find we can scrape that paste off. Actually, put those up while we're waiting. Let's scrape that paste up. This one. Because it's already dry. I love these mats for that. I can just use a razor blade and just scrape this mess off. Works out really well. And then I wipe it with a, a cloth. So that's that. You guys crafting? What's the next holiday? What's the next major holiday? We've got Father's Day coming up. Or maybe it's passed by the time I post this, but it's um, today is actually when I'm when I'm filming. Today is May fifteenth. As I'm filming, it's already starting to dry and do its thing. That's so cool. This will be transparent, so you'll be able to see her better. I know it looks like I covered her up, but I didn't. She'll be much more visible. So Father's Day, oops, Father's Day would be next. I feel like I'm shaking a Polaroid picture. Father's Day would be next, June. So July, 4th of July is coming up. So I should be doing, let's see, some fun summer crafts. Are you guys summer crafting already? Let's see what else I can do while we're waiting. I have these cute little frames. I'm thinking about using some of them in my, um, oh, that would be so cute. Check this out, look, let's set her aside for just a second. I just saw this frame and I saw this picture. Look how cute this would be. It's a little bit too big because that would be, I was gonna say for the dollhouse, wouldn't that be cute? But I could cut it in a square around there and then like put black paper around it like it was matted and hanging in the dollhouse. That would be super fun. Or what about the round one? These are so old, they're just stuck. Oh, that's even better. That's really cute. Wouldn't that be fun? There's a thought. Okay, not gonna do it today, but there's a thought. Put that up. Now, should we put some kind of a saying or a quote or something here? I feel like we should. What should we put on it? Um, Dearly beloved, Theodore, courage, strong. She remembered it was something precious. The only chance we had, bright white moon. Maggie Sue. Maybe we'll do that. We'll put Maggie Sue under there or Lillian. Does she, I think she looks more like a Lillian. Should we put Lillian under there? Okay, let's see what else there is just in case. There, just in case, I don't wanna change my mind turned a curious gaze her way. Promise me one thing, if they were let to fly away and voices soft and sweet, she could believe. How about that? She could believe. She 
she could believe. I like that. My sweetheart. No. It is a beautiful crown. Nice girl from good home. <laughs> Done. <laughs> it fits. Nice girl from good home. I like that one. That's kind of funny. And we're just going to ink this up a little bit. We're just going to put a dab of glue under that. This is, I'm sure this is dry because I haven't used it. There we go. So Paula is my partner, my swap partner. I cannot remember the name of her channel as I'm filming this, but she will be tagged in my description box. So please remember to go check out her channel as well as the other participants. I'll be posting them too. And everybody's going to have their, their videos up. So check them out, you guys. Got some great crafters involved in this one. As always, hosted by Karamia. She always has some fun, fun, fun um, collaborations. I really enjoy her collaborations. She's got such a great, great ideas. Bringing all kinds of crafters together. So much fun. All right, there we go. Nice girl from Good Home. And it looks like it is. <laughs> then it looks like an advertisement, doesn't it? All right, it's crackling, but it's taking a minute to dry. Now, how am I going to paste this one on there? I think I'm going to have to use E6000 to paste this on there. I think I have. Here's Dollar Tree's version. Multi-purpose cement. Dries clear, ultra strong. That's what we're going to have to use. Come on now, dry, dry, dry. I don't know what more I can do. This, it's getting there though. It's getting there. While we're doing that, I keep looking at this card, this postcard that I got in the mail yesterday, or the, for my purchase yesterday. And let's look at it. It's because um, I want to do this. I wanted to read it if I can. Let me introduce you to a few of my friends. Lots of something today Indian from loose range on their backs this is great a great city this is great city urinated no something about the school and lady teachers is underlined. Somebody's in luck. I don't. Don't you think how there is a school vacancy in Bear Golden Hoof? $125 per month. And debating if first we'll decide about land vacancies none less than $65 so that's how 65 it's folded $65 something not starve norman that's pretty cool it sounds it sounds like if i gathered that correctly they're joking about a few of their friends, but there's a school vacancy and it sounds like the wife might be a teacher and there just happens to be a vacancy there and she's in luck because, hey, that's what she does. 
This is turning out so cool. Okay, I think, oh, it's cracking. Can you guys see the cracks? It's cracking. So, so cool. That was a good idea to put that on there. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this guy. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna put it together. You will see the official, official, well, I guess maybe not. I think there's a thumbnail I'm supposed to add. So you might not be able to see the picture. So I wouldn't know how to add it to the end otherwise. Okay, let's put this on here carefully so I don't mess up the whole thing. There's a spider web in the middle of glue. And I still see spider webs of glue. Stop it. Hopefully I'll be able to get them out if there's a problem. If I put this just right, but it needs to be straightish. I think right there. I think we're good. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is turning out so cute. This is not what I had in mind when I started, remember? About the ad behind it and everything that I was going to add. But I think this is classy. Nice girl from Good Home. Look how cute that is. Okay, let's put this on here. Let's put the lid on here first. Because, you know, this stuff just dries up quick. That does, and we'll put this on there. I think it's good to go. I think so. There we go, you guys. There it is. Can you see the crackles on her on her face and stuff on her picture? Can you see them? I love how this turned out and I hope my partner does too. You guys, make sure you go and check out all of the videos and all of the participants. Again, they'll be listed in my description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure had fun making this one. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'd love to have you join my YouTube family. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.